explore town. It's coming up on Friday. It's 6.44 a.m. We just left TA1, and we've got this next bike section that has the points that you need to get A and B in order to get one point, and then the map to B is at point A. So we'll be on this a while, and it um, should be fun. We're still in the Santos mountain bike um, trail system. It is 6.45. We just made it out of TA. It took us about 30 minutes. We had to uh, powder our feet and get get a couple of things fixed up so that uh, we hold ourselves together. Main goal here is going into the monster trek with perfect feet. Um, that's a really big deal because 40 or 50 miles, whatever it is, if our feet are screwed up now, we will not make it. That's going to be bad. So everybody's in good working order. We're well fed. Big TA gave us two more breakfast sandwiches so we're gonna have a lot of calories looks like it's turning out to be a beautiful day sun's coming up we're in santos trails totally enjoying it and that's our update for this morning Little section of the trail it went from being old pine on the right which is like new forest and now we're in this like super old growth forest and uh nice flowy windy trails but it's like you see pines on the right and then old growth on the left. It's really, really neat. Oh, it is pretty back here. Big oak trees. Spanish moss hanging. Wow. Checkpoint, look at this tree. Just crazy, huge. Back in the woods. Somewhere, there's a checkpoint back here. Just a little bit, <laughs> I don't know, a little bit out of sync here. We had to get two Bs in a row because we just accidentally found ourselves at 31A when we were looking for 30B. And that's how it happens sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we are now at 31B. And we've got ourselves sorted out. All right, so we found this point in this little cave over here. It's kind of a neat part of this park. There's like some kind of big drop-offs. Kind of cool. A little bit challenging to get to. But more challenging to see from up top. And this is 33. Let's see. It is 33 B. We only have one more B point and then five points taking us to the next TA. Pretty cool, huh? There's Tip. Stretchy stretch. <laughs> Good night. Is take a seat. It's a controlled burn back here. It's still actually smoking. Oh, that's Florida Trail, right? So we made it to the Florida Trail and going through the Marshall Swamp. Absolutely amazingly beautiful, but maybe not a good place for a shower. Florida Trail and it is just beautiful and it also says this is the portion that's biking and hiking so our wayfinder did good fine forest it's really pretty back here as well these are always fun yeah, we're brand new and you need them.
All right, so here we are. We're on traditional Florida back roads and uh, making a lot of distance across the state. Not too many CPs right now. This is just a matter of hammering down and trying to keep up a good pace and not roast in the sun. So we're having a little bit of a difficult time here. We're at CP 41. Um, we were finding the checkpoints no problem, but we were close to running out of water. Um, we filtered here, which is great. We found the checkpoint. Um, we've got, you know, about 22K to a TA. It's just been blazing hot. So we're trying to manage our temperatures and um, manage our expectations of times and distances. And it's pretty tough, but we did find this point. So that's always a mood booster. So here is our current situation. This is the small pond. And this is our very small, brief slice of heaven right now. The Alexio de Spa. <laughs> and what did you get at the spa? Um, I had a head wrap, <laughs> some cooling water, a little face splash. Yeah. And what, at uh, one to five star ratings, what would you give it? Uh, I think this is at least a four and a half. Four and a half. I would just like the, the I would like the uh, heated pool to be slightly deeper. <laughs> I would like it to be a cooled pool. So we just passed the U.S. Navy bombing range. <laughs> it's just on our right. And you can kind of see why you do it here. There is nothing. There are no homes. I mean, it's just green, flat, green stuff. Michael, how far to the TA? 5.3 kilometers. We were super psyched that we only had 5.3 kilometers until we saw this. This is what we've got to be on. But we know cold Cokes await and hot food. So this is our current situation, riding our bikes through sand, which sometimes ends up in disaster. But either way, let's see how Michael does. Oh, my bill. Michael's gonna make it. Oh, you love AR Georgia races in Florida so that we can do this. Uh, whoa. All right, Michael is kicking it. So he's going on the edge where there's plenty of, a little bit of hard pack. Uh, that's all she wrote, big, deep, sandy gullies. Andrea's trying to make it down the side. So much fun. Ah. Hey, push, 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 push. She's doing it. Slow going. Seeing how long we can stay on our bike going up this hill. I predict Chip will stay on longer. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yes. Decided it was not worth the extra energy to wiggle around. Oh, he made it. TA2, and we just finished the paddle bike trek. No, yeah, paddle bike trek bike. The last bike was a little longer than we expected, and a little sandy, unavoidable, and hot. Hot, so so hot. What we almost ran out of water. Uh, water shortage. Yeah, we were really short on water. We're just glad to be here. We are here at Juniper Springs, and there's a spring apparently that we can jump into somewhere right over here. And so there's a ton of bins here. There's food. Everybody is nice. So this might be a little bit of a long TA for us, but um, we're going to get washed up, new clothes, feet fixed, fed, and ready to walk for like 50 miles. Ready to go. Here we are at Juniper Springs. Happy to be uh, enjoying a bath and getting all the clothes cleaned. 
don't have long, so we had to get back out of tea and go on a hike, but it's super nice to get totally washed off, feeling squeaky clean, ready to hike 50 miles. I'm here with this ability is going into the second night. You guys are doing amazing. Don't know what place they're in yet. We have no idea how we're doing. We're just having a good time out here and doing the best we can do. Love sand. We, yeah, love well, we love pushing our bikes through sand. Thanks, Jeff and Eric. We look forward to that every year. But now there's uh, 42 miles, and hopefully there's not as much sand, and you don't have your bikes now, so. Right. Uh, First, last yeah. night, the, the, the trek relay was so fun. Tonight, yes, that was fun. We really, we, I mean, yeah, we may have bobbled a couple times, but, but we, we felt really good about that last night. Yeah, we, we, we got back in the TA, we talked to some teams, and some people had some really tough time out there. And, and Michael did a fantastic job. This is like my first race ever where I'm not nav. Actually, when I was with Adventure Addicts with Michelle and Paul and Jeremy, but that was, but normally I'm the nav. But Michael's taking it over, and I just kind of look over his shoulder from time to time. But, uh, but other than that, he's doing all the nav, which is me nav. Yeah, yeah, you should see your dots. You guys go to every single checkpoint and not even wander about it? We don't it. even wander. We just go right to it. How much do you pay to this guy? I mean, you know, <laughs> somewhere between 20 and 50. You, you know, take him to massage hour. parlors and stuff? Well, there's that. We got him a 15-minute massage the other night. <laughs> it was just the happy ending. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to in this track? What's your game plan on this long 42 miles? Nail every checkpoint. Nail every checkpoint. Keep our feet. Dry, you know, it's possible, healthy, no blisters, and, and we're gonna get at least 90 minutes of sleep before morning. Yes, which Sweet. means two hours bedding down, 90 minutes actually snoring. Yeah. But he's right, I think this is the crux of the race. I think feet are, uh, if we mess up our feet. So going, everything we've done up until this moment has been, whatever we do, we stop and fix our feet. Because if our feet are jacked up right now, we're screwed, we're out. So uh, I think everybody has behaved themselves and, and had their feet fixed. We have no blisters. We're going into this feeling like a million bucks. We almost had like a complete sand eradication of our skin. Yes. Like, <laughs> <And, laughs> I mean, just <laughs> sand everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Well, so, yeah, good night, so guys. Good. Uh, the paddle's the other one I'm worried about because I sleep through the paddle. So that that's really my biggest fear is I'm paddle. excited. Downriver. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Isn't that how you're supposed to paddle downriver, not upstream? Yes. <laughs> <Last laughs> <time. laughs> we have to go pace, guys. Let's start a jog. Let's go. All right, guys. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Headed out of, that must have been TA2. And we're on the monster trek. 40 miles. And it's um, basically the Florida Trail. This is a connector trail and we're trying to get to the Florida Trail and hopefully before sunset and we're feeling good. Be the bulldozer. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. No problem. So, we just hit the first trekking checkpoint. Michael went right to it, but we were in the shit deep, and so now we're just trying to get back to the trail. But you should go. Huh? He went right to he it, went right and to then it. he's trying to find it again to show us, and we couldn't find we it. We couldn't find it. And then I punched it, and they said, well, go back and take a reciprocal bearing, and I couldn't find it the second time. Because it's thick. Oh. This vegetation is angry. It's not true, yep. And Rich is becoming a bushwhacking expert. I feel like we should have like hit the trail by now. Me too. This is crazy. We are in like a maze of thick vegetation. Oh, did we get back? Oh, man. Holy crap. That's incredible. Jesus Christ. They can go get it. Fuck that. Right here. <laughs> right here. Go, just go back in there a few thousand meters into the haunted house of palm fronts. Oh, God. 
Like, we're gonna go back in. I know, I know but I just wanna know. More like we would know. I mean, the map especially, I was keeping an eye on that. Okay. Do you have anything on your back that was uh, your measurement tool? Nope, it's there. Okay, yeah, you're good. Everybody's got their sleeping pads. Okay. Current situation, we have a campground checkpoint. So we are hoping to get that point and find a place to bed down in the campground. Looking at being there at 1045. I'm hoping to be in bed by 11. Sleep for two hours. Back up at one. And on our way before the dew comes out and the fog and the cold and the wet. That's true. That'd be good. CP at a bat house. Apparently, that's a bat house. Look how bats get in. All right. Now we gotta find a place to sleep. All right, it is 1.54 in the morning. We just got done sleeping for a full two hours, or at least we were laying down for a full two hours. And it took us longer than expected to get up and get going, but we did it. And we landed a perfect sleeping place, I think. We did not get wet, it was not that cold, it was level, it was quiet, and it was dark. And we were under live oaks. And nothing got wet. It actually doesn't seem that bad right now in dew and fog, so we may not have needed it, but I think we would have been fine even if it was doing fog. I think we are good to go. We're walking. The beach still feel good. That's the update for Saturday morning. Also, we just went around a pond to get to the CP, and there's a bunch of gator eyes. Rich was excited about the gator eyes. <laughs> he was like, can we just go through the pond? Yeah, we earned this one. This was a tough one. Yep. Sun has come up on Saturday. It is 6.45 in the morning, and we are still on this monster trek. The guys are talking politics, <laughs> and that seems to be keeping them awake. And we're looking forward to the water drop and the convenience store that's coming up. And hopefully, maybe, that means we might be halfway through this trek. Um, but I don't have the map, so it'll be kind of nice to take a look. Yeah. Talking politics. Talking politics. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, for putting in a mountain. We're starting to get nosebleeds and I have heavy breathing just from the altitude. So this was fun. So Rich was having sleep monsters. And so all we had to do is say there should be a single payer system and give everyone in the United States free health care. And he immediately snapped out of it. Boom. <laughs> We've been going for an hour and a half now. That's how we push buttons on Team Disability. <laughs> so we are at CP51. There we go, three more CPs till the TA. This is the sinkhole. Kinda neat here. Got a burnt area. How many points can we get? Wow, these are some really big pine cones. So pretty. So Rich, what are you looking forward to at the TA? We are getting some hot cooked food at the TA. We are 50 and a half hours in on 74 hour race. We got less than 24 hours to go to cross the finish line. We've got a master navigator, Michael, up there picking some ass. We got Super Captain Chip keeping us straight. And we got Mama Andrea making sure that we're making the right decisions. This is a dream team. And we're She's gonna up. fucking be up. Oh, I said that. <laughs> we are gonna be on the podium, baby. I said it. <laughs>